guys, happy Saturday. I feel like it's been so long since I picked up my camera. I just got back to the city yesterday. I went away for a little, I didn't record at all. I was barely on social media. Um, so there's really nothing documented from that experience, but I was out in um, Hershey, Pennsylvania. I went and stayed at Hershey Lodge and had a really good time. So yeah, that's that. But now I'm back in the city, got back late last night. Um, and I'm about to head into Manhattan to get dinner with my friend. I literally have not seen her since last year. It's been a while since we've hung out. We've both just been like so busy with work and just like miscellaneous stuff. So we hadn't had a chance to catch up. Um, so I'm excited to get to see her. We're going to, um, I think it's called Planet Taco. I've never been there before, but I've been searching high and low for a pescatarian version of um, berria tacos. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but it's usually always like pork or beef. I've never seen a pescatarian version. And I think Planet Taco has like a shrimp berria taco. Um, but I think they like launched it for Halloween. So I don't know if it's still on the menu or if it was like a seasonal thing. But hopefully they have it because i did want to try it if not they definitely do have other like pescatarian options like fish tacos and shrimp tacos so i'm sure i'll be safe but i did want to try that one specifically um but yeah i'm about to head out now because i'm i am running a little bit late per usual um but i will check in with you guys probably once i get back Happy Sunday. I don't really know what I was gonna get into today, but it was my I, I had some plans that were kind of just like up in the air, which I hate. I cannot stand up in the air plans. Like if you want to hang out with me, if you want to see me, if you want to take me out, give me solidified plans. Like I'm an itinerary girl. I don't like I can go with the flow to an extent, but if you don't tell me where we're going and like solidify the plans i'm gonna make other plans so i decided i am going to go try hot pilates for the first time it's so funny because i posted on like my instagram close friends like i asked people you know i want to lean my body like i have a very muscular body type so that what so when i work out it's like i build muscle easily realistically i probably have a really low percentage of body fat but like when i work out i just build muscle so that's why i look bulkier so i asked the people you know like what could i do to lean out my body i still want to look athletic but i don't want to like bulk up um and a couple people suggested pilates i've done pilates before but then one of my friends said hot pilates now that i've never heard of i've heard of hot yoga i've done the hot yoga i love it but i did not know that hot pilates is a thing and that they actually have like specific studios dedicated to hot pilates um, so I looked it up and it is a bit out of my price range right now. It's a bit out of my budget just because I am paying for, um, you know, the pole dancing. So to add hot Pilates onto that monthly expense would just be too much for me. But thankfully, I did not know this. I don't know if it's a new class or if they've been doing this, but Lifetime Fitness, which I have a membership with, they do hot Pilates. So I'm scrolling. I woke up this morning like, hmm. I know I want to work out, but I don't know if I want to go into the city to work out or just like go to the gym downstairs or up the street. Um, so I'm like, okay, let me see what classes Lifetime has this morning. Lo and behold, they have a hot Pilates class this morning. So I'm going to go. We'll see how it goes. So I was gonna do like a secondary workout after the whole fire alarm or whatever, but I ordered groceries to be delivered between 12 and two, but I was expecting it to be delivered a little later. So now I have to go home to try to, um, I'm definitely not gonna be there in time cause I'm like 30 minutes away, but I don't want my groceries just like sitting out in the hallway. So I had to leave. Oh, they literally just texted me. They were just delivered. <laughs>
Okay, this is how I know <laughs> somebody needs to take my card away. Like, I never ordered this much stuff from Amazon. I just got all of these packages. <sighs> like, I don't even... Remember what a lot of this stuff is. What the freak did I order? Oh, okay. So I want to take my content on TikTok a little more seriously, and I guess for you guys too, but this is more so for my phone camera. So basically, um, you guys know that I'm learning how to do my makeup up on this journey, and um, a couple of you have actually a couple of you have actually asked me to do like a makeup routine, which I don't think I'm good enough to sh do a whole routine for you guys yet, but you ask, so. <laughs> this is to like stick on my bathroom mirror so that I can just record on my mirror instead of opening my cabinet and like doing it that way. Cause right now my setup is very ghetto and I'm hoping that this will be helpful, but we will see like the reviews for it were pretty good and I'll I'll put a link to it in the description if any other content creators are interested in this little doohickey. So yeah, you just stick it on like that and you're like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or hey TikTok. Oh yeah. So you guys, I ordered a new iPad case. Funny story, I like to read on the treadmill when I'm working out, depending on what workout I'm doing. If I'm doing a 12, 3, 30, I will read on the treadmill to keep me from being bored, basically. And I was reading on the treadmill last week and I put my iPad down on the treadmill next to me when I was done reading. And when I finished my workout, I want to be careful with it because the glass is still like dropping everywhere. But this is what my iPad looked like. And there's still like glass shards everywhere. So I'm trying to be careful, but completely bent, completely done. And it was stuck like under the treadmill and I was trying to pull it out by myself and I could not do it like it was jammed in there. I'm still really confused by how it happened but I think because I was walking on incline I put my iPad closer to the treadmill than I thought so instead of just putting it beside the treadmill it was it actually like slid under the treadmill maybe I'm guessing. Um, and then when I put the incline down, the treadmill just crushed my iPad. I'm assuming that's what happened because, like, that's the only logical explanation of how my iPad came out looking like that. But anyways, I was trying to pull it out, like, myself, and, um, I went downstairs to see if maintenance was in the building, but this happened at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning, so no one was there yet. So I go back to the gym, and I'm looking awkwardly. There are two other people in the gym, but I didn't want to, like, interrupt them to, like, mess up their workout or whatever but I could not get it out thankfully the girl that was on the treadmill next to me was so kind bless her heart so she was like do you need help like what's going on so she gets off the treadmill she lifts the treadmill up so that I can pull it out I'm pulling it out it's not working so then we switch I push the treadmill and she's pulling it out pulling it out it's not working thankfully the third person in the gym was a guy so you know he's got the big macho muscles so he comes over me and the girl both push the treadmill, like tip it over so that he can get under there. And I'm telling you guys, it took him like 10 minutes to get my iPad out and there was glass everywhere. So I had to order another one just because I do use it a lot for modeling when I'm presenting my portfolio to casting directors and agencies. So it was kind of like a need for me. Oh yeah. Okay. I forgot about these. Wow, it's much smaller packaging than I thought. Anyways, you guys, I'm taking a trip in three weeks. I'm really excited to vlog this one. Location to be announced, so stay tuned. But I have to basically fit two weeks worth of clothes in a carry-on because I don't want to check my bag because it is international and I would just rather not lose my luggage when I'm outside of the country. I bought these packing cubes from Amazon because everyone said that... Um, they make packing a lot easier, so we're going to test it out and see. And lastly, I believe, I know what this is. This is just like five bottles of baking soda. Quite literally five bottles of baking soda. It makes your, it makes your clothes 
fresher than if you just use like regular laundry detergent but I've run out and I definitely noticed a difference in the smell of my laundry so I had to order basically a lifetime supply of baking soda <laughs> on another note i have a photo shoot in the morning so i am actually about to get ready for bed um because i am gonna wake up around six or something to get a workout in i've been really consistent you guys y'all would be so proud of me i've been consistent with getting up at six and doing and going to the gym as opposed to going to the gym around like eight which is like what time i used to get up um so i'm gonna wake up early hit the gym and then head to my photo shoot because i don't have to be there until 10 I believe um, but I'm really excited about this one it's a beauty shoot I haven't done a beauty shoot in, in a while it feels like in my portfolio could definitely use some more beauty so this is a new photographer um, but so far the vibes have been great via DM so we'll see how we connect tomorrow new photographer new makeup artist um, so I'm excited to get to meet them and to show you guys how it turns out happy Tuesday it is about 8 in the morning ish somewhere I was up at 6 um, really proud of myself for that because I've been consistent in a gym the old me would have slept in and made the excuse that oh since I have a photo shoot like I need to I need the extra rest but no I needed to get up and go to the gym <laughs> so I did that got that out of the way got my bowl of oatmeal and yeah I'm gonna head out in like 30 minutes and head to today's shoot I know I said I wanted to be booked and busy and I'm really really thankful that this year is starting off strong at least compared to my last two years in New York with the pandemic and everything modeling work was slow so it's really good to be booked a lot but I'm trying to like balance that with like my side projects and my social interactions. Sometimes I can allow myself to get a little bit overwhelmed when I have a lot of stuff like happening at once between like my work and my friendships and like events and stuff. And it's fashion week coming up so of course the events are um, popping up more sporadically than I'm used to. I'm used to really saving most of my social events until like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, but having like sporadic events throughout the week sometimes throws me off and I can already see that coming because I've been invited to like four or five events already just this week. Um, and then I leave for my birthday trip in like two or three weeks. Um, and I just feel really overwhelmed with that because I'm scared I'm not gonna fit everything in my carry-on. Basically, all these things are things that I'm making up in my head. Like, there's really no reason to be overwhelmed, but sometimes I just start to overthink things and feel like I'm running out of time when really I'm not. I just need to freaking relax. Wait, but why is it snowing? It would snow the day I actually have to leave my apartment. I swear, New York weather is just so inconvenient sometimes. I can't. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's snowing still four hours later oh my goodness literally snowflakes falling on my face um but i have my mask on right now we just finished but we took my lip gloss off and my makeup looks crazy now so i have to wear the mask running super super late to an event but basically New York Fashion Week is pretty much here it starts officially in next week I think the show start next week like the end of next week so I am going to 
kind of like this model chit chat where we're going to be talking about model legalese, contracts, how to read your contract, pretty much how to better understand the industry. There is going to be a panel of professional models talking about their experiences and just giving advice to um, the models that are attending. You guys, I am so late. I'm literally like 20 minutes late. But look how pretty it is. Oh my God, this is my first time on Roosevelt Island. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's the tram. Oh my gosh. I'm back from the caveat slash neon coat event and when I tell you guys there have been so many moments in my life where I've been invited out somewhere or there's an event happening and I like change my mind at the last minute either because it's too cold it's raining or like I'm just tired or I'm really not in a social mood and today could have been one of those days I had a lot to do literally been working since like 8 a.m. I contemplated staying home to like catch up on work catch up on editing and just take things off my to-do list but i was like you know what i'm gonna go and i'm gonna adjust and i'm gonna find some other time to get this work done um and we're gonna go and network and try to learn some new things and i decided to go and i'm so so thankful that i did and i need to start making this decision more often every time i want to back out of an occasion I definitely just need to encourage myself to go because you always end up meeting someone special. You always end up learning something new. And sometimes maybe you don't even get anything out of it, but you went. And I think that deserves a pat on the back regardless. But anyways, the event was so insightful. A lot of times in the modeling industry, people are scared to speak up and speak out out of fear of being blacklisted. And so things are really kept on the hush hush. And it's been that way for decades and decades. Um, and thankfully, we have these voices in the industry, which is actually what the event was called voices in fashion. <laughs> um, but thankfully, we have these voices now that are not afraid to speak out anymore. And so it was so nice to be able to hear these experiences firsthand from people within the fashion industry who have been in the game for years, way longer than I have. These are seasoned veterans. And to hear their perspective of things, a lot of you guys come to me for advice. You slide in my DMs um, thinking I do know it all and that I'm just going to be frank with you. I really don't. I'm still learning. I'm still new to the game. And I had a lot to learn from the people on the panel tonight, so I'm really thankful that I got a chance to go. And I also got to meet one of my mutuals on Instagram. We recently followed each other, actually. And it was so funny, I watched her story before going to the event, so when I got there, I instantly recognized her because I saw her outfit on her story. Um, so I went up to her and introduced myself, and then we ended up taking the tram together. We're actually going to another event together tomorrow night, so again, connections. Wouldn't have met her if I would have decided not to go to the event. So. This is your sign. Go to the event, do the things, meet the people, say yes. Like this can be your year of saying yes. I challenge you guys to do it. If you're not already doing it, I challenge you. It is, let's see, ooh, 9.30. Okay, yeah, it's getting close to my bedtime. So, and my skincare routine takes like 50 million hours to finish. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. <laughs> complimented a little bit which is fine I clearly needed the validation but I've done a terrible job at vlogging today I feel like this week in general I was a lot more social than like I typically am I've gone out pretty pretty much every night this week which is uh, out of the ordinary so I kind of lost track of 
where I even was in this vlog. But um, basically tonight I went to a club called Gospel in Manhattan to celebrate Connie Brenton getting the cover of Du Jour magazine. So they threw her a little shindig at Gospel. If you guys don't know, Connie Britton is one of the actors in The White Lotus. She plays um, Sydney Sweeney's mom, si the character of Sydney, hmm. Sydney Sweeney's character, Connie Britton plays her mom, if that makes sense. I don't remember the character's names because I watched White Lotus like a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, that's her character in the TV series and she was on the cover of this month's issue of Du Jour magazine so they threw her a little party and it was actually really really good vibe. I will definitely be going back. The music was really really good, super diverse. Um, the population of people there was really diverse which from, from my experience was a little bit unusual for Manhattan. I went and had a solo dinner afterwards. I didn't stay for the entire party. I did go have dinner because I didn't even, I hadn't even eaten the last time I ate was probably at like two and that was pretty much my night it's so interesting um running it I ran into quite a few models tonight all from like my agency Wilhelmina um and everyone is like so stressed out because castings have started for New York Fashion Week and everyone's just running around like chickens with their heads cut off it's an exciting time it is an exciting time for most it is also a very sad and stressful time for many of us also I haven't walked Fashion Week the last two seasons which is weird for me because previously I walked every season and that was by choice. I didn't even go to any castings. I went to one casting last season and it was very like last minute. It was like the day before shows started. Um, but my agency was just like, oh, go here. But the last two seasons, I have not walked New York Fashion Week by choice. Um, just because I was not in the right mindset. I was not happy with what my body looked like at the time. You know, I wasn't eating right. I wasn't consistent in the gym and I wasn't practicing my walk and I just, and my skin, my skin was looking crazy too. So I just was not my most confident self. This season I'm feeling pretty good. Like if I were to walk a show, like I would feel great about it, but I haven't gone to any castings yet. I've done a few like virtual castings, but no in-person castings yet. I don't know what the cards have in store for me this season. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. I feel like it's going to be a pretty quick one. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Cause I'm not just a pretty girl. I'm more than just a picture.